Uh, thank you very much, presiding officer. Today has been a positive debate, I believe, and there is a consensus within this parliament that we need to take action to address the housing crisis that we have in Scotland. And without getting into the blame of who's, who's to blame for what, the facts speak for themselves, the statistics see, speak for themselves, and we do have a housing crisis in Scotland that needs to be tackled. I welcome the tone of the Minister's introduction speech, uh, and certainly I can say that Labour in this Parliament is absolutely committed to working with the Government to deliver 35,000 and 50,000, and hopefully we could actually go further. But I know from my experience previously in Fife Council that actually being able to deliver that level of housing is not without its challenges. And that's why we have said that we actually need a national housing strategy, a plan for Scotland in terms of housing. And sitting alongside that, we need councils to be empowered to establish local housing partnerships that can deliver. Back in 2011-2012, when I was the leader of the Labour Group in Fife, we put forward a proposal in our manifesto to build 2,700 houses for rent in Fife over a five-year period. And I'm happy to say that Fife Council is on target and will deliver that 2,700 houses uh, by April of next year. And it was the experience of that that led me to produce a paper that talks about housing crisis and why we must build more public sector houses in Scotland. And this paper sets out uh, that experience and how we need to drive. It sets out the facts as to why we need to drive forward. But one of the things that I highlight in that paper is that when I was in Paisley um, last year, I met a family who had moved from a cold, damp house into a new housing association house in Paisley. And the family explained to me that the daughter uh, suffered uh, continually from asthma attacks and was very often taken to hospital. Since they moved into their new house with the fuel efficiency and everything else that's there, the little girl had not had once to go back to the hospital. So James Kelly's point about how housing is the most important issue or one of the most important issues we will debate in here because the way that it impacts on all other social policy that we will also have responsibility for in here is absolutely correct. But that family also told me that in terms of their uh, monthly income, they paid in their old damp cold house 25% of that income for uh, heating and fuel costs. When they moved into the new house, that shifted to less than 5% of their total household income. So if we are serious about tackling inequality and tackling poverty, then we have to tackle Scotland's housing crisis. That's absolutely the case. It is also the case that we should not somehow forget homelessness. I'd have to say that, that this year I did start to become concerned when I was reading different things for charities about the number of rough sleepers. And I found it very difficult when I went, and went to try and find the statistics to see how many rough sleepers we actually had. And that's why I was pleased, uh, as, as, as Richard Leonard and Alex Cole Hamilton have, amazed, uh, have mentioned, to welcome Shetler Shelter Scotland's campaign, Homelessness Far From Fixed. Because it is far from fixed. They've launched this campaign and I hope that across this chamber we can recognise that homelessness is far from fixed and more must be done to eradicate the unacceptable situation that far too many people in Scotland still today in 2016 find themselves in, homeless. So we need to, we need to give a commitment to actually tackle that. In terms of the, the input from uh, the Conservatives, where they spoke about, Alec Johnson spoke about, it was a critique, I think, of the, 
of the SNP record to date uh, and, and, and spoke about looking at other ways of being able to secure funding. And I would draw attention to Eunice in Scotland, and I hope the Minister has read the Eunice in Scotland proposals where they look at the pension funds. And that is certainly one way where we can start to look at more investment through the pension funds. But in terms of establishing these local partnerships, it's about getting it right. Because Homes for Scotland quite rightly say that we also need to look at not just homes for rent, but homes to buy. And we need to encourage that, that process. And I'm sure we'll see a lot more about the planning uh, processes in Scotland in the coming months as we move forward. But in terms of the capacity to deliver those 35,000 social rented houses, and the 50,000 affordable houses, the capacity to do that in terms of where Fife was, was because we had such a dip in the private market. And if we got private housing moving tomorrow and we started to build the 50,000 houses in the private sector that Alec, uh, that, that, that Alec Johnson talks about, then we would have a major problem in terms of capacity because we do have a skills gap in Scotland and the building trade. And therefore, by, by being able to set out a clear strategic plan, a national house build programme for Scotland, you're able to start to plan. We're able to work with all our partners in terms of the, the colleges and start when the, 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 the builders, the private sector. So we, as Fife showed, can create apprenticeships, can create local jobs, can support local companies. It's about that type of partnership. Uh, I think it was Emma Harper that talked about the need to involve uh, more local uh, housing associations and, and gave examples from her area by creating a local housing partnership in every area. And it's not about creating bureaucracy. All of that is already there. It's about bringing together the housing associations with the local authority. It's about getting the people in the same room sitting around the table, whether that's the planners, the, the, those that own the land, and starting to be able to move this agenda forward. And that's the example I would give for five. I would give credit to Fife. They've built 2,700 houses over this five years. Let's look at that example and let's get forward working together and tackle the housing crisis in Scotland. Thank you.